Shout out to you, Gordon Guitar. We have Paul Alondra here. We had him before on this channel this time with the cool song called Ella. So we have this melody part. You can choose to play, but also this drumming pattern. So we're going to look at both these variations here. We'll start with the capo set here high up on the fifth fret because we want the high notes and that is the easiest scenario here to get it with a capo. So capo on fifth. And with that, we're gonna go over the chords we need. So first one will be the B minor. All right, so that's a bar here on the second fret from the A string and down. That means from this string, the fifth, or yeah, if you count from bottom up, fifth string and down. So that's the bar on the second fret, and the rest will be fourth on D, fourth on G, and third on B. Next chord is G, and we're gonna use the bar chord for this one. So that's another bar here on the third fret this time over all strings. And the rest will be fifth on A, fifth on D, and fourth on G. Then we're gonna go to E minor, and this time we have this E minor with a little different flavor. Looks like this, okay? So it incorporates an F sharp note there instead of the uh, e there, so that is the grip. That is open E, second A, fourth D, open G, open B, and open E. And the next chord will be A. So that is open A, second D, second G, second B, and open E. And this is basically the you can say the corporation through the entire song, B minor, G, E minor, and A. But we'll also look at two different grips because we use that for the melody parts. And it uh, is this grip first. And this is kind of uh, replacing the E minor. So that is second on the D string, fourth on the G string, and we will skip the B here and just play then the third on E. All right, so that replaces the E minor when it comes to the melody. And then the final chord replaces the A chord. And you just take this same grip here and move it two frets up. Same grip there. And that gives you that sound. That is fourth on D, sixth on G, and fifth on E. So there we have all the different chords we need. So let's first take a look at this melody parts. So we'll start with the B minor. That part sounds like this. Okay, so that is second on A, fourth on D, third on B, and second on B. So that means you hold the chord and the last two notes you play third B and then you release this one to get the second B with your bar. All right, so that's the B minor part. We're moving to the next, the G, and you're gonna play this part. So that is third on E, fifth on A, and fourth on G. Moving to next is the E minor. Sounds like this. So that is open E, second A, open G, and fourth D. And then we have the A. Sounds like this. So that is open A, second D, and second B. All right, so this is kind of the first half of this medley. And then the chord progression repeats again in the same way, B minor, G, E minor, and A. Uh, you're gonna start the B minor and G in the same way as to start the first round, so. Now when you come to the E minor and A, we will use this grip we learned. So you're gonna play. This is kind of the E minor part. So that is basically the second D, fourth G, and third E. And then you take the same grip, like we learned, and just move it two frets towards you to this fourth position here with the D, six on G, 
and fifth on E. And that is the melody. So I'm going to take you through this slowly, starting from the B minor. So there you have it. Okay, so now that is the melody. Let's take a look at the strumming pattern because you can play this with just plain strumming. All right, so grab that B minor since that is the first chord. We're going to look at the strumming pattern. It's pretty easy. It goes down, down, up, clap, down. That is one round. You're going to play one round per chord. So again, down, down, up, clap, down. So a couple of rounds of the same pattern with B minor sounds like this. So you get the idea of how it sounds in a context. So you're gonna play the same chords that we learned. So B minor, G, E minor, A, B minor, G, and then here on the final two chords the E minor and A, you can choose actually to play the E minor as is played in the first half of this um, chord progression, or you can actually play this, it works well, and it doesn't matter if you have this open B there, it will sound great anyway. So I'm gonna give you this full um, um, chord progression round first with, this, with the standard E minor we use for this song, and A, and then on the second round, I'm gonna give you these E minor and A's. Okay, so let's go for a strumming. covers Paula Londra's Ella. So good luck with this one guys and play tuned. <laughs> 